Welcome to Street Fighter 5 Trials Volume 2. In this video, we're going to be doing 10 of Karen's trials. When there's a trial that needs some tips or some tricks, I'll do my best to give my explanations and I'll cut to the combos. Alright, number two doesn't need much explanation, but you'll realize that when you do your counter and your light kick dash, you end up on the other side. Or what you might be getting confused is when they tell you the command, they're assuming you're on the left side. So that means when you're doing the command, the light kick version this way, when you get on this side, you're actually doing the same direction, but with a medium kick. So if you're doing this and then you're you're doing another dash under. Well, that's because you're not going in the right direction. It's a little awkward, but just that's something you gotta keep in mind. Alright, so if you're familiar with Karen, you probably already know how to do this type of combo, but just to give you a little tip, or at least what I typically do, is I try to find the most consistent way of dashing. Whether, in this case, it's medium kick, which is very common to use with this character, you want to be comfortable picking the right button to follow up. Whether it's medium kick twice or light kick, I tend to use light kick version a little bit more. And then what you want to do is make sure you're hitting the heavy punch or whatever punch button is com comfortable for you. I tend to use heavy punch. And uh, make sure it's, you're doing it as soon as possible. If it's not coming out or if he's blocking, double tap as early as possible. Like that. And you'll get a pretty quick version of that if you do it right. And then from there, you're just going to try to time your, your your V skill, which is her little palm move there, which isn't too bad. You just have to get the timing right. If you want to practice it without actually doing the, the cancel, you can just do like this. What I do is quarter circle forward, and then I hit light kick, heavy punch, like this. So it's like an instant thing. And you can kind of do that. Hit V trigger, actually that's V skill, and uh, kind of get that feeling down. Then, then you can kind of practice it that way, and then put it all together. You're going to need to be good at that in order to do some of the later combos with her, almost guaranteed. So practice that, get good at it, and uh, keep it moving. Alright, one more thing to even realize is that there are two versions of that shoulder. There's a quick one, and there's one that hesitates, and you have to do the quick one in order for it to work. And you'll notice if you do the, the one that's not quick, if you look at your combo meter, it'll actually skip it. So you want to wanna get the fast one really good. That one right there, where she says hi ya usually, and it goes flipping up. Just something to watch out for, and uh, just make sure you, you can know the difference between the two. Number four really isn't too bad. So with this one, you're gonna be doing the EX version, which helps you out with the shoulder. That's pretty hard to do normally. So in the standing heavy punch, quarter circle forward kick, and just hit down immediately. And he's gonna crumple, and obviously as soon as possible, you're gonna to wanna to do that little kick. So give that a try with uh, the EX move, do the shoulder crumple, and then try to do the move at the end. Do that once or twice, and then go ahead and do the whole combo, it's not hard. Alright, number 5 can be pretty hard because now you have to land that shoulder from a juggle. Now the thing is, when you do your shoulder, just like before, there's two versions. You have to make sure you get the quick version so that he goes way up in the air like this. If you take your time with it, see how it's like a little slower? You're not going to be able to get the the shoulder move to come out. So, not that I recommend practicing like this because it's not the same. You you can do it that way too, but it really to get this next part is pretty tricky. You have to really practice this uh, the shoulder move. 
And you don't have to hold straight down, you can hold down forward. So do that a few times, and then see if you can just do the juggle on itself, just to get a feel for it. And then work on the beginning of the combo, which is obviously some standard combos. So you want to get the good feel, you can just practice it like I do like this. Even there, it's not fast enough. There we go. So that's what you're looking for when she says the right words and he's you know, reused flipping in the air. That's when you know you can actually land the shoulder. So it'll take you some time to get it. And if you're not getting the proper launch with, with that move right there, then you're going to need to make some adjustments to get that right move. And that's pretty much the trick to this one. And so for a little bit of a tip, when you want to be able to cancel that medium punch and you're still getting you're not getting the right launch. What I typically try to do is this little fast thing I did here that I showed you before. What you want to do is hit medium punch, hesitate for not like too long, and then do that move after. Even though you could do it this other way, like right there I'm being pretty consistent, but sometimes that'll come out because the timing isn't super fast. And it's so close that you won't even realize you're doing it. But try to try to just do it a little bit like hesitant after the medium punch. And that might be able to help you with this one. Alright, on to number six. This one isn't too bad. It's a little tricky. Not as tricky as number five. So you're kind of doing a similar thing except you're doing the EX version. So if you want to just practice this in the beginning, what I usually do is from the crouching heavy punch into the EX dash, and then you get a hold down like this. He's gonna crumple. The whole time I'm holding straight down. What I'm doing, I'm waiting for you to drop to his knees and then I'm gonna input quarter circle forward and just the, the punch button to launch him just like that and then you need to follow that up with another shoulder which is the EX version once you're able to at least launch him into the air the next thing you need to do is land the shoulder but you have to you have to do a fast otherwise she covers too much distance and you end up on the Sometimes you can just practice it on its own. I don't usually recommend it because it's pretty hard. I'd rather just do the whole combo. But if you want to try to do it that way, you can give it a little bit of a practice run. All right, in order to land that shoulder and you want to practice a little bit, you actually need the other type of landing. So the one where he goes straight down instead of flips. That one right there. That is the flip you need in order in order to combo that shoulder and unlike the, the non-EX version you can't do it that way or actually you can still combo with the non-EX way but that's just not what the other combo calls for so you can practice that see if you can land it at least once and then go for the whole combo it's super tricky so if you can at least do that once to get the feel for it then you can go ahead and do the entire combo it's a little different than that practice but at least landing that shoulder, you should have a little bit of confidence in doing it. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time getting these trials done. Alright, on to number seven. These ones are getting really hard so far, but uh, we're moving along nicely. So for this one here, we got another of kind of the same things we've been doing already. So, you know, you got your jumping heavy kick, crouching, and you're going to be doing the, you're going to be doing the fast launch. So you need to get that high kick move up. So if you want to just practice that, it's a little easier to do this. And then do that, right? Just after. 
down back leg kick. And then after that, you're gonna need to do another one of these. So whether you do like uh, like I'll do leg kick, medium kick, like this, and I'll kind of do like a some sort of like this is slow motion like this. That gives you a nice quick launch. And then you kind of have to do the same thing and juggle that shoulder in. Another thing I'm not really good at. It's all about getting it out early enough. Like I don't even expect to do it here. But uh, it's just like before, except you're doing a different way to load into that move. So super challenging. If you're having trouble up to this point, you're going to have a lot of trouble with this one as well. But at least it's pretty straightforward. Just landing that shoulder, the EX version, is going to be really tough. Just try to do it as soon as possible, as quick as possible, and hopefully you can manage to get through this one. So try to break down that middle part from this quick launch here. Make sure he's flipping, you know you got the right one. And here, you want to do a quick launch, but this time when you hit him, since it'll be a second combo, or a second launch, He's not going to do a spin, he's going to do just like he did before when you crumpled him in six and then launch them up. He's going to have just the regular, the second hit. So let's see if we can do that part and then we already know how to do the rest because it's just like before. Just like that. And then it's just a matter of getting that shoulder in. So nothing crazy, but just challenging. Hard to get that inputs in right. Alright, number eight. A little bit different than what we've done before, thankfully. I'm getting tired of doing those shoulder combos. So this one here, we're just doing the V the V skill into V trigger. And what that does is it puts Ryu in the airborne combo. And not only that, when you're in V trigger, when you do quarter circle forward, you get hair wrecking moves. So you go like this. Now of course he's blocking because he will normally block that, but when he's in the air, he won't. So you're just doing this, pretty simple. So we can just, just to see what it looks like, you go like this, one, double tap for the kick to do a sweep. And that's all this one is, much easier than the previous ones. All right, another tip too, I feel like the way to get this one is you have to delay that kick because it seems like I'm doing it way too early. So if that's happening to you, you need to delay that last kick move as late as possible for it to still come out. Sometimes you hit it too late, and nothing comes out but that means you're just a little bit too late and you want to bring it back a little bit on the timing All right, number nine, this is gonna be a little break compared to what we've been doing up to this point. Uh, nothing too crazy here. You get your basic jump in combo and the, com and the, uh, the medium punch combo. We've already seen this before. So you're doing this, this, and then you have to cancel that into the dash into launcher like this. Now, of course, you need the flipping version. So you're gonna have to get get used to the timing so for me those are two different ones right so you have the flipping and you have the one where it just gets launched the flipping is the one you want and it's just a matter of getting getting it done like just slightly faster so from there this right here all you're doing we've already done this before except we're just adding this EX move super easy to do it's just doing the first part and if you've gotten to this point already then this shouldn't be any challenge to you
All right, it's been a struggle, but we are number 10. Hopefully these videos are helping you out. If you're liking this content, you gotta let me know by leaving a comment, giving me a thumbs up. And if you want to watch the rest, subscribe. All right, so number 10 looks like a lot and it looks challenging, but it's not as bad as you think. You still have one of those uh, quick launch shoulders that you still have to do after the V-Trigger. That's probably the hardest part. The rest of it is just gonna take a little time to get used to. So you wanna break this down into two parts and then worry about that last part at the end. So get comfortable getting V-Trigger and then trying to land the heavy punch into the launcher like that. Now try to get, Try to get the flip one, which is faster. So before they haven't been using the heavy punch, they've been using medium, but the same technique applies. You just gotta do it quicker, make sure you're getting the flip animation. So if you can manage to get that quick launch a couple of times, then let's worry about the rest of the combo. Now, when you're practicing the rest of this combo, just keep in mind, you have to be in V-Trigger. So if you start fresh, activate V-Trigger. Then, do your quick launch combo like this. So, so you can work on this next part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, we're gonna do a quarter circle forward once, and then hit down punch, like that. And then we're gonna do it one more time, and you notice she'll go around and hit with the elbow. Of course, we're not gonna be launched, but it doesn't matter. So it's about knowing what the actual combo does. So let's fresh, beat trigger. Okay. So do that a few times. Ryu's gonna be blocking because he's not juggled, but you want to make sure you understand how to do that. Now, even better is you can practice the super even though he's blocking. In order to do the super, remember you're gonna be doing a reverse elbow and you have to do the super in the correct direction. Nothing crazy. Just like that. I know I did it kind of quick, but that's what you're gonna to wanna to at least do a few times so you get the gist. Now, if you wanna try this without doing the entire combo, you just get yourself in V-Trigger and then see, then just do the launch and see if you can connect with the super. Cause that's the hardest part. You get that down, then you just have to bring the beginning part together. So you can do that once you understand what it's going to look like. Then you just bring the first part into it. And this one, considering the ones we've already done, is really not that bad. Just understanding how the combo works will get you pretty much 90% of the way there. All right, that is gonna do it for Karen. She was definitely one of the hardest ones up to this point by far. Hopefully I was able to help you guys get a couple of those done. If you liked the video, you know what to do. Leave a comment, subscribe if you wanna see more, and I will see you in the next combo video.